everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to share with you another swap that I'm going to be hosting for the month of August. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to share with you um, some new news, or some good news, exciting news. I'm so happy. I will be hosting my very first live event on Ustream. So yay! I'm excited and nervous at the same time. So I've been wanting to try this for a long time and I just said, hey, what the heck? So um, it's going to be my first event. So I'm hoping that you guys will join me. It's going to be Saturday, August 8th. So this Saturday, August 8th, and it's 12 o'clock my time. So I try to allow it to not to be too early on a Saturday and too late on a Saturday to be scrapbooking. You know, you want to enjoy your summer day. So um, hopefully you guys will attend. And if you don't mind or if you want to attend, click the link in the description box. It'll take you to Ustream and then press follow. That way you'll receive a prompt or an email that I've gone live just in case you forgot. So I would love to have you there. There's going to be, the chat's going to be open. I'm hoping everything goes smoothly. The chat will be open and then um, we'll have, um, I have a moderator so that I can answer any questions that you want to ask me you know face to face or while we're in the in the moment and um, she'll be able to text that to my phone so that I'm able to still work and answer the, your questions live so I am crossing my fingers that that will work out splendidly it's an hour and a half time block so hopefully we'll get everything in and if not I'll it'll be a part two so I won't leave you guys hanging so um, I've got several requests on to, uh, a bunch of things to recreate um, how I did that and a lot of things from newbie so I figure I do a two-in-one which I love to do those two birds one stone um, so I'm going to recreate one of the tag mini albums that I've created in the past and or very similar to it so that's fulfilling that request and I'm also going to do it as a live event and that's filling one of my bucket list items so um, two for one here are a couple items that I'm going to be using and you know I love all paper well most paper I'll say and it doesn't have a time stamp to me so it could be old or new and I believe in interchanging paper collections so it could be Prima and Graph 45 but as long as the papers coordinate I'm all about it so this particular uh, mini album will be primarily using Prima paper so I just pulled a couple of things that I'll be using and I have tried to prep as much as possible so I don't get all fumbled and it take a long time so um, this is the thing some of the things that I pulled and it's a tag mini album the majority of the mini album will be created using the Prima princess paper pad Let's say that three times fast so I have some in the A4 and then I have some 6x6 that I had in my stash that needs to get used up. And I'm also actually going to be using some of the um, Divine that I have left over. And I have that and it's like, I don't know, four or five sheets in here. So that may be used. Just some options. I know I'm not going to use everything, but I just wanted you guys, if you're going to be playing along with me, to pull out the items along with me. So I'm also going to use some, um, this is some Delight Journaling Spots um, stickers that I had left. And I've got some little papers back here too left. So I'm going to be using some of that. And then I have some chipboard stickers, Prima chipboard stickers. I don't know what collection it's from, but they coordinate. So I'm going to use them or try to. I have some flowers. This happens to be from Lifetime. And this is just handmade Prima flowers. Of course, I love flowers. I'm actually going to try to use this cute little My Mind's Eye. It's layered stickers, like little embellishments. I think they're super cute. So maybe those will go in there. And this is from Follow Your Heart. See, it coordinates. And then I have some chipboard pieces from the Delight paper that I had left over. So I am going to be trying trying to use some of those to make my um, tag mini album. So um, with that being said, please click the link below and you know press follow and then hopefully we can interact on a more um, personal level so have your questions ready hunty alright so enough of that all the information that I've said previously to this and going forward will be in the description box now on to why you clicked on the video here is da -da -da -da, August swap I'm gonna zoom in here we can see what we're talking about 
Now, a few videos ago, I created a tutorial for um, a mini book charm. It's a one inch by one inch with a quarter inch spine, so a one inch mini album, tiny little charm. I will put uh, a link somewhere here so you can click on that um, so you can know what to reference as, as we're talking about the swap. But that one happened to be using tilde paper. So for this swap, you can use any of your papers. There are a couple things, and I'll get to that soon. But we'll, we will be using that tutorial for that one inch mini album, so to create the swap. There'll be six groups. There'll be two groups of um, shabby chic, two groups of vintage, and then two groups of clean and simple. Now this happens to be what I like to call a clean and simple. So it's really, you know, color whatever the colors are, it's just like a crisp, clean swap. Um, not that any of the other ones can't be that as well, but it's more leaning toward not a particular shabby or not a particular vintage thing. So I would call this my clean and simple. And this is using authentic paper. Um, I forget the name of it, but I'll post it so you guys can see. I left it in the other room where I recorded the video the first time. Um, so um, back to what we're talking about. The swap opens um, today and it will close. So today is um, the 4th, August 4th. And happy birthday, Shantae! <laughs> My girlfriend's birthday is today, so I had to give her a shout out. So um, today is the 4th. It will close tomorrow on the 5th and the groups will be posted on the blog on the 6th in case you want to personalize your um, swap. Now if the group's full full up or fill before tomorrow, then of course you'll see close in the in the, the title here. So uh, if you want to participate, leave a comment and tell me which group you'd like to be in. So you'd say, like I'd say Tamika Clean and Simple, Tamika Vintage, Tamika Shabby. And there'll be six participants in each group. So you'd make six, keep one for yourself, and send me five. So that's how that works. So there'll be there'll be you know six in each group and then two groups of each. Um, and what was I going to say? The so the group signups will be on the blog on the sixth. The postmark date, meaning the time that your package is stamped by from the post office, is September third. Is this September third? Um. I'll put it down there, but it's the first week of September, so I'll put I'll say September 3rd, but it won't be before that. So um, just so we can make sure that you have enough time to create the swap. So it's a month from now that you'll have that in there. So um, just postmark by that day. So be keep in mind if that's a holiday day um, that you want to have it in the day before. So um, check the blog for all of the information, of course. You the PayPal information, swap item things clarify clarify all over there so what I want you to do is send each swap packaged individually now this is a sample I may keep it and do five more of these or I may change it but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I was talking about so this is how I package my swap and um, I just use like I said the authentic paper you do not have to all of your swap your swaps individual swaps do not have to match each other they just have to match themselves so like if you use a Prima paper for Prima Delight for one Prima something blue graphic 45 you know seaside or whatever you use each one um, has to coordinate so you don't want to send anyone with like random non-matching papers right okay if you have enough paper to for everyone to look same or similar then good for you so um, that would be ideal but in the event that you don't can't, can't match it very similar just make each swap themselves coordinate beautifully and package it up really really cute because I love packaging I love presentation like that's my like my favorite part um, so anyway, I used the authentic paper and I just folded over a six by six and I used my little crimper here um, to just add something festive to the bottom of it just to, you know, to clean it, make it a little clean and just to add a little something to it. So I just used a crimper on there. I used a, I created a topper using my silhouette cameo here at the top and then I added two Wilder Craft flowers. And here I have my um, a little heart that I created again with the silhouette cameo, and I just have to make a scrap the world to make on the back, and that's being held by a clothespin with a tiny little resin piece on top. I created this little belly band here just to uh, just to um, 
you know, there's so much negative space down here. So I figured I'd add something down there. And I just used my dies. I labeled them here, um, doubled them up on top of there. And then I added a die cut of the word hello on the top just to make it super pretty because I love it. So that's just my packaging. And then I opened it up and I have it so that it's as reusable as possible. So I have just a little piece of tape right here. And then inside the um, package is one, the swap. So you want to have your swap on a card or holding. You just don't want to dig in there and then out comes a charm. So put it neatly on something. You guys know packaging. You guys know to just make the presentation good. So um, your swap is a one by one inch mini album. You have to decorate the mini album as best you can. I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see. Decorate, you know, it's you're working with a tiny space. So all I did was add some trim. Then I added a gold heart and a dimensional butterfly. And as you can see, I cut up all my little papers here. And the book has to close, of course, but um, that's in the tutorial. So also, you want to um, add something for the recipient to hang it from because they're going to use it as a charm. I included a lobster clasp. And then you want just some tiny little collection of beads or something on the side even if it's just a bead and a spacer and you know nothing else hanging off the side dangle so they can have something uh, on it aside from the book charm so this is how mine's turned out I have a bird a butterfly and then a tiny little clear pink bead that's hanging on some gold chain and then my lobster class so the recipient can extend the chain or just use it use it as is just something has to come from the book in order for the recipient to hang it from. Whether you use charm or twine or whatever you use, it has to have something for them to hang um, their book from. So hopefully you understand that. If you do not, or if I'm not explaining it clearly, and you've already checked the blog, please leave a comment below. And I will try my best to answer them as quick as possible. And on the back, you will want to put your information. I just wrote um, Mini Book Charm Swap 2015, hosted and created by me. So that the recipient, if you take them out of the packaging and, and store them somewhere, they'll know who created what. And they may be able to reference you in the video that they use your swap in. So that's, um, that's what I was thinking. Whoa, that's what I was thinking when I created um, the swap my sample. And um, I, like I said, I'll put all the information below for the swap. Um, connecting to the blog and the tutorial that I would like for you guys to follow and also the information for the live Ustream event for Prima um, the Prima paper Prima tag mini album not for Prima um, the Prima tag mini album that I'm creating so hopefully you guys will click below and follow me and then we can see each other this Saturday Otherwise, if you have any questions, let me know. Like the video if you like it. And leave a comment to let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.